When Tesla launched their first car, the Roadster, in 2006, no one would have imagined that they are witnessing the birth of an automotive giant. Since then, the company has grown so much that it has become a major influencer in the automotive industry. While the Tesla was moving forward in the electric car technology, the mainstream car makers remained skeptical about the longevity of electric car business. Fast forward to 2017, now everyone wants to make their own electric cars. Porsche was the first mainstream manufacturer to present the world with a true Tesla rival, the Mission A. Here are the 5 things that you need to know about this Tesla rival from Stuttgart. Number 1. It will be a driver's car. The Teslas are fast, but they are not exactly driver oriented. With the Mission E, Porsche is looking to bring the spirit of their sports car into the electric world. And that's quite evident from the recent spy picks where the Porsche was caught testing the Mission E at the Nürburgring. This car will be built upon an entirely new platform, which means that it's not a Panamera with a couple of electric motors. The entire passenger tub or Wysak frame as Porsche calls it will be made out of carbon fiber and the batteries will be mounted as low as possible within this composite structure for an ultra low center of gravity, just like the Tesla. Porsche is aiming to achieve a sub 8 minute lap in the Nürburgring with this car. This platform will also be used by Audi for their upcoming all-electric SUV, the e-tron. Number 2. The Powertrain The Mission E will be an all-wheel drive electric car with two permanent magnet synchronous motors at each axle. These motors are similar to that of their 3 times Lama winning 919 LMP1 hybrid. Combined, these two motors produces 605 brake horsepower which is enough to take this Porsche from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 3.5 seconds and to 200 km per hour in under 12 seconds. Now, some of you might be thinking, meh, it's slower than the Tesla Model S. Then I would like to remind you that these are Porsche numbers. And Porsche's performance figure usually tend to be on the conservative side, which means that there's a big chance that this car might be faster than what Porsche claims. There is no actual data is available about the battery size, but Porsche is claiming a 500 km or 310 mile range on a single charge, which is pretty decent. Number 3. Fast Charging One of the biggest gripes that many people have with electric cars is the recharging time. Even the Tesla supercharging station will take about 30 minutes to recharge for a 272 km or 170 mile range. When you are out on a long road trip, it might get annoying. In order to address this issue, Porsche has incorporated an 800 volt charging system which will be able to recharge the car for a 400 km or 250 mile range in just 15 minutes. But these 800 volt charging stations are not going to be everywhere, and the Porsche is well aware of that. So the Mission E will be able to charge from a 400 volt system or from a household plug. Number 4. The Design Sometimes when a stunning concept car goes into production, it ends up being dull or even boring. But the Porsches are not like that. Take the 918 Spyro for example. For an untrained eye, it might be a bit hard to tell the difference between the concept car and the production version. The CEO of Porsche, Mr. Oliver Bloom, have said that the production version will be quite similar to the concept with a few changes. For example, the concept car utilized holographic displays instead of rear view mirrors, giving it a nice clean look. But the actual production version will have mirrors due to some safety regulations. Also, the Mission E concept don't have any pupillers. According to Porsche, the chassis is so strong that it doesn't require any. But the actual production version seems to have something like a pupiller. Number 5. Availability and Price the main rival of the Mission E is going to be the Tesla Model S. The car magazine has got their hands on this spy pick where the Porsche was caught benchmarking the Mission E with a bunch of Teslas. So the Porsche will price the Mission E accordingly. But in the Porsche lineup, the Mission E will be placed between the Panamera and the 911. When the Mission E was introduced for the first time in 2015, Porsche told us that it will be on sale by 2020. But the recent reports confirm that the car will be ready by the end of 2019 and it will make its debut in 2019 Frankfurt Motor Show. 
Mr. Oliver Bloom also pointed out that Mission E will have different variants following the Porsche's same model hierarchy. Which means then we can expect variants like Mission E S, Mission E GTS, etc. But no turbos though. So there you have it, some key informations about the new Tesla rival from Stuttgart. But before ending this video, I would like to ask you a question. This whole electric revolution in the transportation sector is all well and good, I agree with that. But are you really happy with the electric motors replacing our beloved V8s and V12s? Cast your vote up here or comment down below. As always, if you guys liked the video, please give it a thumbs up or if you loved it, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you guys next time. Drive safe.